Alrighty guys, hello and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be playing some King Seed. Now, it has been a good long while since I've actually made a video on this channel. Sorry about that. But we're going to be jumping today and hopefully having a good time playing this game. I'm super keen. Uh, I love this game, so we're just going to jump in and play some more of it today. So we're going to be starting up a new save. And we get to choose between these dudes here. I kind of like this dude, not going to lie. So something I really, really love about this game is the fact that it was made by uh, ex-Fable developers or people like inspired by that game kind of series. So it, and you can feel it in the music. So this intro is, I think, actually different than the one I remember. I don't remember the game being like this. It looks more misty and like foggy. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Uh, where are we? I love it that this dude's name is just Pot. It's Pot the Pothead. Okay, so we have the business tree, the family tree, the adventure, and the follow fate. Um, you know what? I kind of want to go down the money route. I want to run a business, I think, this time around. Going to be a successful businessman, I think. Oh, and what kind of business? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like the idea of being a blacksmith. Let's maybe go down the blacksmith route. Okay, so this is our legacy. I think we're going to go with skills. And then, ooh, we wake up in the real world. Okay, so this will be more of the intro that I kind of remember. But guys, if you like Stardew Valley kind of style games, you'll probably enjoy this game quite a bit because it has that kind of feel to it. It's a fantasy kind of world with a bit more elements of like mystery and kind of magic uh, and some really interesting gameplay mechanics that we'll get to in like later episodes because like currently right now we're just, you know going to be starting out playing the game but if you like those types of games you're going to love this one a lot so definitely going to want to check this one out if you have not already as is. This is going to be our sister right here. Come over here. I, I don't want to sister. Can I just leave me sleep so do i have uh can i use my inventory yet i don't think i can okay that's fine come talk to me press e to click or yep sure whatever talk all right and we can also bring up the map so this actually game world actually has a fairly sizable map uh as you can see we're in this little area here but there is a lot of big spaces towns different various things for us to explore and i am all here for it. I'm very excited and I cannot wait to jump to this game. All right, so we now got our inventory. This screen actually, I believe, has been updated. It looks a lot better than it used to. Okay, bye, fart face. <laughs> All right, let's go meet some, uh, meet our Uncle Bill. So, of course, we're going to grab these apples. They can give us a little bit of money starting out. All these different various fruit things can be rather useful, so we're definitely going to want to grab those. There also should be a bunch of different various statue things we can go around the world to unlock the rest of this kind of map and not just have this like little, you know, like little, little circle. Alrighty, so let's talk to Uncle Bill. What does he want us to say? All right, so if we bring up our, uh, what was it? All right, so our journal is uh, unlock the map of the Willowdown farm and he wants us to feed the pig. So, all right, let's unlock the map. So there should be a bunch of these little like uh, stone things around the map. I believe it's not that one. They should be around here somewhere. I can't remember. All right, these things here. These are what we're looking for. So we need to find one more of these and then we'll unlock essentially the map area space for this and they'll be able to fully view everything properly. Um, as you can see as well, there'll be little recipes kind of scattered around everywhere, a little bit of fun. So for my memory, it's in the bottom right hand corner. So for a little bit of context, I have played a tiny bit of this game before. Not a whole lot, but definitely a type of game that I would very much see myself sinking a lot of time into. Um, on the channel at the moment, I'm kind of feeling that in the mood for just going through some of my backlog and like completing some more of my games. So uh, we're going to be doing that, uh, starting that kind of process today. And I figured if I'm going to be playing them, why not record them? You know? So let's do it. I'm just going to run around and do a bit of exploring at first. Uh, some of this I might cut out of the video just because, you know, it's a little bit of, a little boring can be. But uh, yeah, overall, been having a good time playing games lately, honestly, just kind of vibing. Been playing Baldur's Gate 3, that game is kind of dope. Alright, so, if we talk to the pig, we can feed Truffles, which is the name of the pig, which is absolutely adorable. And we can feed himself, and if we want to feed him again, then we also feed him again. So he's, in, you know, pretty full now. Will he let us ride him? So this is a cool thing as well, you can also ride the pigs in this game. I think this is hilarious that you can even do this to begin with. I think it's really cool, I actually kind of like it a lot. Alright, so let's dismount. So we should have completed our tasks for that one there. So that's all of our tasks done for the day. Let's go around and grab a bunch of things. So basically, I think what it's going to want us to do on the first day is just kind of look around, do a bit of exploring. So we're going to do exactly that uh, unless we get another objective somewhere. So this is the starting off home area space. Uh, we get a, there's a few different things we can grab here. Uh, we can also do like cooking and things. So we want to make a uh, blueberry jam. We can do that. But eventually, like I said, we're going to be working towards our 
sub goal of running a blacksmith business, which is actually something you can do in this game. So what we're going to do as well, something you want to be doing every now and then every couple of days, is you want to start making offerings to this thing here. Very important that you do that because you can get negative debuffs from doing certain things. And you can also get buffs, I believe, for doing things. I believe that's how it works. It's been a while since honestly, uh, I've um, probably looked into this game. For example, I don't remember this building being here, but that's fine. All right, so let's quickly head up north. I don't think we can interact with the, the guy that's up here just yet, but when we, when we eventually can, that'll be fine. So let me grab the map for this area too. Um, but I get the, f oh, what are these? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's new with this game. So I don't really know fully what's going on with this game anymore, but for the most part, I'm gonna enjoy my time just kind of exploring and having a good time playing it. Cause like, you know, why not? Uh, I do generally like these kind of games. I don't think I can actually get over to that one just yet. Yeah, I get the feeling I can't get over there quite just yet into that water pond that was back there. But that's fine. Is it getting late already? I think it's getting late already. Alrighty, we'll start heading back just in case it is getting kind of late because it is getting, uh, getting uh, a bit dark. I forget the way this clock kind of works. I think like when it hits like some point along here, it gets, it's a really weird clock system. Because I don't think that's like 12. I think it's like, I don't know how it works to be honest. <laughs> I really don't get it. So we got a little campfire here. So there's not really too much we can do in terms of work at the moment. Uh, we will be able to do things eventually going forward. But currently, there's uh, just a little bit of exploration. Hey, oh my god, I can, I've got a bucket full of poop. Okay, we're going to use this later to our advantage. I can't believe we just scooped up a bucket full of shit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I kind of like that. Okay. So there are some little, little things we can grab here too, which is not too bad. So we will obviously be doing a bit of planting later on. Uh, you can also explain, ex expand, expand, what? You can expand these crop spaces later on. So we will get more uh, access to a bit more space from my understanding. I just kind of like the vibe and the pixel art for this game, honestly. Uh, I really like the style of the music. I think it's very, very soothing, very relaxing. So I think we're just going to head to bed here because I don't think we're actually allowed to go into town just yet. All right, so let's make ourselves some, uh, we don't have enough of the bottles. We need glass bottles for that. So I think we want to head to bed here, so let's sleep and save. Oh, what is going on here? We are in a dream space again, it seems. Oh, is this going to be like the kin seed or something? God damn, what the fuck? Uh, sorry, I did not sign up for a horror game. What the hell in the fuck is this? <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't like. Oh, Jesus. Two brass waiting to collect. Okay. Oh, we get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of pocket money. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, you're going to press F3 or not to highlight it. Okay, okay, jeez, chill. Okay, so that highlights different things we can do. Okay. Wait, the family scheduler. What does this do? All right, that's not something I can interact with just yet. Let's talk to her. What do you, what do you want? You want nothing. Okay. Okay, so he wants us to... He wants us to buy a tin bucket from the shop, so that's something we can probably end up doing. So let's uh, let's go do that. So we'll do that as our a little bit later on, but let's um, quickly make our offering there. Uh, we'll come back and feed the pig a little bit later on, but let's head into towns. I believe the town is off to the left-hand side of the map, so we're going to go do that right now. And hopefully, uh, be able to explore a bit more of the map, because I'm actually kind of keen to do so. Okay, so we're in Northgate Vale, so we'll have to unlock the map here. We're not quite in town yet, from my understanding. So pretty much whenever you enter a new map space, you want to look for those stones that I was talking about before, because you can basically unlock any space from those stones, just as is. They don't tell you where they are, so you got to figure that out on your own. You've got a, bit, a little bit of world exploration, which I actually do like, because it kind of forces you to look around and... Kind of wander around a little bit and kind of figure things out for yourselves. So I don't actually mind that. I quite like a little bit of exploration and kind of a reason and purpose to do so in these kind of games. So, alrighty. Uh, so we're going to find one more. I have a feeling I know where it is. I believe it's up at this top left-hand space of the map. So usually these little, the the statue things will be placed in different areas. Uh, there's also a go goddess statue here. So I believe that's one of the fast travel locations. You can use those in various parts of the game. I do want to preface as well, I'm by no means an expert at this game. There's a lot of things I will be learning over time and kind of figuring out along with you guys who are going to be playing this hopefully as well. But yeah, Brick King. Wait a minute. Who <laughs> dis? What the he What the hell? <laughs> Is he wearing clothes? Herbert Lemon. No, no, you should not go. No, no, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, my romance of Rowe. What in the... What? What the... What, the, what is this guy? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait. Can we take these? Okay, just free eggs. I'll take it. Can I take this uh, fruit tree? No, I don't have permission to take this. Okay. So I wonder if we became friends with uh, the the hermit. 
whether we would unlock the ability to take his stuff. What is this? Okay, we can't go in there. So there's supposed to be one more tile portal thing. What tile? Tile stone portal. Uh, I thought it would have been up the top hand corner of the map, honestly, but apparently it's not. So uh, let's do a bit more wandering around. No, oh, we have another new NPC. Who is this? Lucy Arrows. Okay. So one of the interesting aspects of this game is the fact that there is uh, almost like a lineage system. So your character, when doing certain actions of progression throughout the game, which we'll get to later, will essentially age, get older, and then you'll have children, and then your character will die, and the lineage gets passed on to your future children, which I think is actually a really, really cool aspect of the game. The fact that that's like a, a, a mechanic in the game, I think is really cool. And actually, honestly, rather interesting. Am I blind? Is it just, hello? <laughs> Maybe it's like tucked off in this little side section. No, that's where we came from the map. It has to be around here somewhere. I'm just not sure where it is. Oh my God, it was over here. I'm, I'm stupid. All right, there we go. So now we should have the entire map for this region unlocked. I, I thought the town was, let me bring out the world map. So we want to be getting to, I think it's, I feel like this is the main first town of the game. But as you guys can clearly tell, the game world for this is kind of huge. It's actually kind of insane how uh, big it is. And this is going to be much, a bit of a longer series playing through this game because it actually does take a bit of time to complete this one. So yeah, I just love the overall general atmosphere for this. I said this, this is the, definitely the first area. This is Candlewick Village. We're going to go around and grab all the portals for this area. Uh, pick up some free eggs apparently do, which is going to very dope. So let's make sure we go around. Oh wait, these ones are lootable? Okay, I'm not complaining. I'll, I'll take anything that's not bolted down to the ground uh, because that is definitely my style. So those paper pieces we've been picking up, these all unlock different various uh, recipes that will eventually better do. And I believe one of these buildings will eventually turn into a purchasable shop that we can get and this will become our blacksmithing business later on. Now, we've got a bit of a bit of a way before we can even start doing that. And there is like a mini game you can play that'll like craft things, but we're gonna get to there later. We've got a bit of, bit of ways to get there first. I believe we have to become an adult first. Our character is a child, so we don't have, I believe, the ability to own and run a shop just yet. But we will end up getting there relatively quickly from my understanding, so that's fine. But I just, I just love the pixel art in this game, man. It's such a good looking game. Alrighty, and there's a lot of different things we'll get to eventually be doing here. Alright, so that's all of this map region unlocked. So I believe we want to go here, which is the general store. Or maybe it's the other one, I'm not too sure. Uh, we got some ore NPCs as well. So we got Ashaya, um, and then we have Ignatus Kettle. Interesting names. So I believe there is like a like a relationship screen, right? Yeah. Um, so there's the veil. These are all the different various NPCs in the game. And there's also other different areas. There's a lot of characters in this game, as you're about to find out the more we play this. Uh, we've got the traveling merchant here, so we can buy different various things from him. We're going to ignore him. We'll come back to him maybe at a later date. There's also the job board here, which we can pick up and do basically a bunch of different things. Now, what we want is this item over here. We would like a tin bucket. Now, as you can see, as some of the keen eyed people over here probably noticed, you can actually get pets in this game. So we could pick up a dog if we had the currency. We do not have the currency though currently. Is there a space for me to be able to, um, doesn't seem like it just yet. Anyways, now as you can see, you have the option to buy these shops. Uh, we will be purchasing one of these in the future. Hey, and hell, I believe you can actually even purchase multiple if you've got the money to do so. Uh, all right, anyways, we'll come back and take a look at more of these towns people a little bit later on, but there's a bunch of different people here that we can essentially talk to, uh, do different various tasks for, and a bunch of different types of things. So we've gotten, I think, all of our mission done for today, which was basically um, uh, get a bucket and then we're going to feed the pig. This is a little side quest we might do later on, and we might go pick up that dream, that rose and dreamer's nook, because I actually do know where that area is. I love this dude, he's freaking hilarious. Alrighty, so we just came back through uh, Druidus Cross. This is basically comes into the southern location of our farm. So there's a few different entrances. Obviously, world exploration and the actual game world itself is going to be a very big part of this game. And yeah, I'm just super keen to honestly even jump into this. We'll get some seeds. We'll get some other stuff later on uh, that'll really get our farm kind of up and going. Uh, obviously, we're a little bit limited in certain aspects of this game yet because we are the child portion of the game, which we will get through relatively quickly. Uh, but that will become a thing. All right. So where is, where is our uncle at? Where's uncle dude? Uh, actually, I don't know if we actually have to, hold on. Let me figure out what we do with this. Go try another thing more than just some plain old water. All right. So does he want us to like use it? Okay. Not yet. All right. Let's go feed the piggy. Cause I believe he is our responsibility to feed. And I believe we, once we have our own family members and we do become an adult, we can actually allocate, uh, different things for our children or family members to do in the future. 
but currently as of now, not quite. Yeah, so as you're gonna see, the more we kind of play this game, this game has a very big focus on like family kind of like lineage in this game. Uh, it's a pretty big factor to the game. Please tell me I did not just delete everything there. I did not, okay, good. I was about to say I did get a little bit scared for a second there. I just kind of wanted most of this off my inventory for now, okay. So let's go chook, uh, chook, check Dreamer's Nook for um, that special rose. So I'm assuming it'll just be like dropped somewhere on the ground. If not, I might have to do a bit of searching to figure out where it is. Unless it's that thing. If it's that thing, I'm screwed. Wait, unless... Oh, well, that makes things easy. There it is. The Romance of... Rose of Romance. Oh, we've got um tweak here at the moment. So he'll give us access to fishing and the fishing rod and the fishing skill. So we're going to definitely pick up that and do that pretty soon. Now, it doesn't appear we have a time limit on this quest. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to do that in the next day. And we'll get a nice big long rest now um, and essentially continue this in the next morning. Alrighty, we woke up on, I suppose it's day three now. And we've got to go return the rose to Herbert the Sherbet, the Lemon Nermit. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but let's go do that. Unironically though, one of my favorite characters so far, which is kind of funny. All right, uh, looks like we're getting another job. God damn it, Bill, stop giving us chores. So he wants us to go to start planting seeds for the goods market on the festival uh, on the third and 10th of every season. Hell yeah, we get to participate in some farming now. Let's go do that. So what do you want us to do? Did he actually give us the seeds or we have to go buy them ourselves? I think he gave us the money to go buy them, didn't he? Alrighty, looks like we have to go buy some seeds, but we also have a bunch of other stuff we needed to do. So we need to pick a dandelion, feed the pig, and let's go give that rose back to Herbert the Lemon, the Sherbet, and Herbert, which is now his official naming. So we're going to feed Truffles. Um, what does Truffles feel like today? I think Truffles feels like a bit of an exquisite pear for his, uh, his meal for the day. All right, let's go. Go drop off that thing. I just realized we have mail in our mailbox. Letter from Twigger. Twig. Alrighty, let's head down to where Herbert was. Uh, actually, was it down? Actually, hold on. I think it was to the left. It was over in Northgate, wasn't he? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was over there. All right. So let's go talk to him. We also needed to pick up a dandelion, so we've done completed that task now. God, I really love the music in this game. Just, just, just stop and listen for a second. Alrighty, let's give Herbert his uh, romance flower back. Apparently, we're make cooking for him now too. Uh, how do I give him the flower? Return the rose you found to Herbert. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. I figured it out, guys. Don't worry. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, and we got an achievement for that too. Thank you, that's just the ticket. Ooh, we got a little bit of money to use too. I will take it. I'm very okay with that. I, I don't think I'm supposed to be at a clip like this. I think I'm meant to be behind that. So that's a bit of a sprite uh, error there, but that's fine. <laughs> that doesn't really detract from the experience too much. Uh, let's go to the seed store. I believe we can get these just from the general store. So let's go take a look at that. Uh, it would appear like I was wrong, unless he has... No, okay. Where do I get seeds? Go to the market at Festival Green, south of the village, or find a traveling... Oh, south of the village, okay. Oh, it must be down here then, somewhere. Okay, let's go, let's go find that. <laughs> just a little Herbert running around in his just little <laughs> naked uniform. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay, I love games like this, man. They're just a chill vibe. And it is raining. I will be grabbing that dog 100 billion percent. He will be mine at some point. But I will be grabbing the doggo because you've got to grab the doggos, man. All right, so this is Festival Green. So we can get seeds apparently here, I'm assuming. What type of seed is that? Wheat seeds. Um, we got carrots. What else we got? Is that the only seed options we have? Nope, we got more. What else we got? We've got cabbage seeds. Okay. I'm um, kind of leaning towards some carrots at the moment, but we might do wheat. Actually, no, we will do wheat because I'm pretty certain um, this cook because it's cooking this game. There'll likely be something we can cook with wheat. So let's uh, let's grab some wheat. Uh, we'll grab we'll grab two lots of wheat. Aren't these just like the same person? <laughs> oh no, they got different cloaks. Oh, they're wanderers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else is available to do here? Well, first things first, we're probably going to want to go around and grab all the map stones. Wait, what's this? We'll, uh, we'll come back here later. I don't think I'm quite ready for that just yet for a bit of cave diving. Still getting a feel for the, the, <laughs> the world. I don't think I'm quite ready for that just yet. Uh, we do want to make sure we're still picking up all of these uh, little recipe things that we can get. Uh, we'll grab some more. We're going to have to sell some things uh, potentially soon. Because there's a bunch of little flowers and different things we can get around the place. Um, so I'm pretty sure that takes me, yeah, that takes me off the map. So we don't want to do that. We need to find those damn stones. Okay, some new flowers. That's not too bad. Oh, wow, they're four star items. Okay, they might be worth potentially a little bit. Where are these map stones? Got the M. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Speaking of the devil. <laughs> 
All right, uh, we're gonna find one more and then we should have the area unlocked. I get the feeling it's gonna be the top right at, up this pathway somewhere. Just, just, just a sneaking suspicion, you know? <laughs> um, It's probably over in this section, isn't it? Ooh, what is this? Blood few. Okay, apparently pretty common <laughs> according to the item description. All right, there we go, very nice. I just love the vibes in this game, man. All right, what is this? Try your luck at a throwing game. Out of oh, I don't have enough money. No. No. I gotta go see if I can get some more money somewhere by selling some stuff. Because I would love to participate in the game. Okay, so I believe we need to go to the general store. And I think we can sell stuff with that guy uh, we spoke to before. Assuming he is still at his shop, which is very possible that he's not. Oh, I like that. There's like these little, little puddles on the ground after it rains. That's kind of cool. Am I just being really stupid is there like a shipping bin like other games on our farm is that what's going on here <laughs> I, I get the feeling that might be what's happening and i'm just stupid i never should be should be going to the shipping bin oh, let's just double confirm because there might be other places where we can uh, sell stuff okay apparently not there what about you nope okay so i get the feeling there might be like a shipping bin on our farm then or maybe we just can't really sell stuff just yet which is also very possible all right let's make sure we're grabbing all the strawberries and berries and the piggy has done another pile of poop, steaming poo poos. Okay, let's get rid of that. Wait, where is my bucket? I had a bucket full of shit. Where's my bucket full of shit gone? Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that sound effect. Okay, I don't really know what to do with that. So we're just going to leave that there for now, I think. So we're going to put the four wheat seeds in. And then we're going to need... i got to stop pressing the tab button, man. I'm so used to pressing that. Uh, we're going to need a watering can. Where's the watering can at? There we go. Oh, is that, is that what they look like when they're fully watered? Or do I have to, like, hold that down more? He likes strawberries. That's actually awesome. Okay, hold up. Alrighty, what do we... What else we got on the agenda of things to do today? Can Will... Can cook, Will cook. Herbert Lemon wants cooked meal using grown ingredients. Deliver it between... So I did name my sister Fartface in this game, which I think is actually kind of hilarious. Alrighty, I think we're going to call it here for uh, this little one here. We don't want to forget our uh, money. So that's good. Alright, so let's sleep until 6 a.m. And then I think we're going to call it here for uh, this video. So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy today's little section of gameplay. I'm going to be playing more of this on the channel very, very soon. Because honestly, I really enjoy this game. And I hope you guys do as well. Anyways, have a good one. See you later. Bye, guys.